Welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland 64 Crystal Shards Collection Special Collection Part 3. Yeah, it, it. Anyway, you're at uh, stage 2 Rockstar. It's the desert level. I mean, do we get a power where we can put up the horns? Please tell me we can do that. Nah, I'm afraid not. Damn it. Alright, uh. Oh, not again. Let me get my notes out here, because, uh. This is where the game starts to get a little cryptic and a little strange in their Chris in their uh, shard placement. Oh, goody. We're gonna need to re reference some of these so I remember. So, yeah, stone is the first thing we need. We're gonna have to hold on to this for a while. <laughs> what does double stone become? I'm just curious. A bigger version of that. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, he just becomes a, an avalanche. He becomes Kirby Avalanche. It's it's just that same stone thing, but just bigger. Way bigger. Okay. What? But, uh, I mean, I do, I do urge people to play this for themselves, because you can just experiment on what kind of powers do what. I'm going on a strictly 100% run here, so I gotta be a little bit more, uh, 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 Articulate, I guess, uh, accurate with my powers that I choose. So, there's a crystal shard right, right above here. In the okay. second room. Neat. Ow. Oh, what is that thing? That's an anvil. Oh, that's, I guess I didn't even realize. That's the kind of anvil that won't kill you when it crushes you. Because hmm. there are some presses that do. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Kirby explodes when he gets out of stone that attacks enemies too. Hey, another shard! Great. Wow. So now we got ourselves an auto scroller. Oh, a, little, God. a little bit of a dynamic one though. Oh, the sand. Uh-huh. See, every Kirby is different, because in this auto scroller, you can't go past the top. Oh, okay. I bet in any other one you could. Most other ones, at least. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, this one's different because it's slow as sin. It's still slow as sin, though! <laughs> <laughs> Probably because uh, it has to load everything on. for like a billion years. Come on! There we go. And we need stone, right? For uh -huh. this part, maybe? We need to get up here, though, so we need to use stone to maybe see if... Oh. Here we go. What? Just kidding. Oh. So, uh, yeah. See this? That looks a little weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Very weird. We'll come back to that in a little tiny bit. We need to go over here, though. Over this, uh, little mountain oasis. Kind of neat. Hmm. Very different and... from all the rocks and stars we have been seeing thus far. And here's the guy we need. Rock and Spark. Whoa! Oh, that's cool! Big gigantic sparky rock comes out like a huge <laughs> yo-yo of death! Oh, that's cool! It's like Kirby has teleconnect powers! Wow! Uh, just need to boop it on the wall there. Do boop! 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 And crystal shard. Oh, that was neat! Now, what was the other combination you had where it basically made Kirby into an exploding light ball? Was that bomb and electric? I think so, yes. Okay. We're gonna need that later, actually. Oh, nice. Duh. So, eh, eh, oh. Duh. <laughs> well, that's... All right, all ah! right. Okay, 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 okay. You win. Okay. You win. Fine. Ah! Jeez. <laughs> The, the slowness of the N64 nearly killed you. Yeah, I'm going for that maximum tomato. Whoop. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna no. need it. No. I'm gonna lose it immediately. All right, stage two. Here we go. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and die. Well, maybe we'll see how long we we can survive. Maybe we'll find a tomato or something along the way. Is that like a little hammerhead guy? I, I think so. <laughs> I like how I got rid of uh, Spark and Stone only to pick it back up again. 
Scarfies. Wait, what's following me? Okay, so now you have Needle, right? That was close. How about uh, Needle and Flame? What's that do? <gasps> Ooh, Fire Needles. Oh! Fire Arrows! Or fire Arrows! Oh, cool. But we, but we gotta, like, rear back and aim, though. That's kinda crappy. A little bit. Could be worse. Yeah, you only get one arrow. <laughs> no! Oh, jeez! That yeah, could hurt you like the dynamite does. <laughs> I still love dynamite. I love that so much. Oh, wait, it wasn't... Oh, was that rock and fire? It was dynamite? Yeah, rock and bomb. Rock and bomb, okay, never mind. Oh, duh. All right, Ooh. so this, st this structure has floors that can fall through. Oh, oh great. All right. I'm gonna use my own. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Help! Get away from me now! <laughs> hey, you did it! I did it? I think. I did. I did do it. Hey, right. you did it! Okay. <sighs> Made it. Should be a place to fall down. No, that's not it. Maybe it's. Oh. Oh, down, okay, down here. Down here, and right there, and boop, crystal shard. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh, I thought you were dead there. I'm I was trying waiting to be for as it. careful as I can. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, God! Ah, come on now. <laughs> I, yeah, come on. Right where yeah. you couldn't see, of course. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Just screaming internally and outternally. What? I love having Kirby scream. Yeah. And it's... Wait, you have limited flight in this game? Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you just fly over everything and miss some important set pieces, I'm sure. So, is this the first Kirby game with limited flight? I believe it is. That's so weird. You can still, you can still fly a good amount, though. Like, right, you can go right. down here, you get a pit... Fly back up here, no problem. But you can't say fly over the entire stage. That'd be just madness. Right. And... What I also don't like about this game is that the jumping is just a little bit off. I mean, it just just feels weird. Oh, jeez! Now, tell me, is that instant death? That is instant death, my friend. Ah! <laughs> what a jerk. Fine. Needle and cutter. Whoa! I turned into a sarlacc. That is frightening. Oh my god, you are killing innocents. I love it, though. That's a good power. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a cool power, but jeez. Who came up with this? Is this B team? Uh, this is B and A team. Because part of A team was still kind of tired from Smash Brothers. But, and I think this game was meant for the disk drive, too, perhaps? Oh, that that makes sense. But that never came out, so... So they, so they put it to this, and uh, I think Sakurai was working on other things and uh, couldn't do this, because he, he had problems with sequels at the time. That's kind of why he left HAL. Actually, no, I, what, I think he was working on uh, Kirby Air Ride around this time. Oh, wow. So, and no moving towards the future. That nobody loved it as much as he did, so he quit Hal and made his own company. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my Kirby game. I'm gonna take it with me, and nobody else is gonna play it. Actually, we we have Kirby now, so fine, you can have him. <laughs> but he still works with Nintendo, so it's not like that's a major departure from well, what he does. I'm glad he still works with Nintendo. Otherwise, we'd have an issue. I feel like Sakurai is a bit too much of a visionary. Like, he's... Like, he, he's in 3017, you know what I'm saying? Right, and I think by this point, Nintendo gives him full reign to do whatever the hell he wants, just because it's like, yeah, go ahead, just don't kill yourself. Can Please. I make a second Kid Icarus? Uh, besides that. Yeah, yeah, besides that. I mean, Uprising was pretty good, and in fact, it was really good, And but I don't think people are clamoring for it, and I actually love Kid Icarus Uprising. 
fabulous game. I think you like it more than me. I think I do too. I mean, it's it's fine and all, but I can't get into it, you know? It hurts to play, actually. Yes, it does. That's the one drawback, is it hurts to play. Have you hey! seen the tattoo? Have you seen the tattoo underneath my left index finger? It has an L button and a camera mark on it. <laughs> well, hey, do you remember uh, Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword? <laughs> Where you had to play it sideways? Uh, I didn't mind that too much. So, uh, we need to go back to level two here to get, so get a power that we need for the third stage. Fire arrow? Nah, not quite. It's just a ways in the stage. Oh, okay. Because now to get most of these crystal shards, we gotta revisit some stages to get powers to unlock certain blocks, and some of them get downright ridiculous later on. So, will there ever be mixture blocks where it has two of the colors mixed together and you need two powers? No, you just need just one certain power. Okay. Like, it, can, it, can, it has to be a mixture of a certain thing, but you don't need to get one power, destroy a block, and then get another power, destroy a block. Now, usually it's destroy a block, and then there's your shard. Okay, good. See, we need, we need rock here because there's a... Crystal Shard right here. Oh. The Demon's Mouth. The way to get there is through his spine, which we break with stone. Cool. Ow. Well, what a jerk. I mean, Kirby could just go around, but, you know, I think that's why they strayed away from the whole 3D aspect thing. Mm hmm. Right. Which is why I like Triple Deluxe. It has the whole uh, foreground and background thing to give the idea of depth. I like that, too. Looks especially cool with 3D. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, that, that game was made for 3D. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, what's down here? Oh, just All right, death. so crucial. Go oh. left. Okay. Go to this one here. There's a mini boss. Oh. It's a fish. It's a fish. Oh, it, it's Cutter? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, that makes sense. Because to defeat that mini boss, you're dropped down to this section where there's a shard. If you would have oh. gone the other way, you would have dropped down just right there. Yeah, okay, that messed with my perspective a bit. Okay, I see where you are now. And then you meet down here. Oh, that was clever. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh no! So let's use ice for a bit then. Okay, cool. Ice is severely underrated. How about ice and cutter? That'll work. Ooh. Skates! <gasps> oh, little skates! God, Kirby is so nimble. He is. He, he's a boy who can do anything. No. A good boy who can do no wrong and can do anything. I don't think this is a very useful power for this section, because, I mean... No! Jumping is the only thing that really works. <laughs> but we'll give it a... will give it a try, see how long we can hold on to this. Uh, Ooh, now I'm starting oh. to think of, like... Like, what different combinations we can have, like... Ah! Damn it. I was thinking, uh, let's see... Spike and freeze. Does that make ice arrows? What is it again? Ice uh, and needle. Ne needle and ice. Oh, needle and ice. Uh, I forget what that is. Oh, oh, so it did work. You eat a spider, it does drain your health. Odd. I guess it was just that one instance where the boss spider didn't work. That's why I urge people to play this game. If you have a com uh, if you're curious about a certain power, go check it out. Work it up. What, and then uh, the, <laughs> the funny part about uh, the underwater sections for this game is that you can actually inhale enemies. Hmm. You got all your abilities underwater. Anyway, you were saying? No, I was just thinking the uh, the drowning music should be showing up any minute now. Is Kirby even a lung? Like, does he even have lungs? <laughs> is he a lung? <laughs> I don't 
don't think so. I think, I, mean, we, I think we talked about this once, didn't we? <laughs> the anatomy of Kirby. Yeah. I don't know. He might just be one big ball of rubber and nothing else. Oh, with an infinite void in his inside. Yeah. Him. Ah! <laughs> Somehow he's granted the power of mimicry. Yeah. All right, so all the way over here to the left as you're going up. Ow. <laughs> Don't get hit by that thing. <laughs> and there's your crystal shard. Well, it's just the, a lot of these sound effects remind me of, like, an old slapstick cartoon. So Kirby getting <laughs> hit is just really funny to me. And card of the tomato. I'm going to go tomato, nope. I think. Yes. There we go. All right. Now, every stage from here on out, except for the last one's going to have four stages. Oh. Hey, look, it's one of those witches from 393. Wait, wait, I want clean power. Get back here. Yes, a mixture of clean and rocket. <laughs> oh, my God, that would be awesome. A clean bomb. It's just a, st it's just a standard tactical nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar is no more. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm lo looking at Kirby shading there. Ooh, how nice! <laughs> that's all, that's all that 64 bits for you. Kirby uses tactical nuke, and he creates wasteland. <laughs> he creates the Fallout franchise. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Game Theory, Kirby and Fallout, the same universe? Nah, this game shows up enough in uh, Game Theory. <laughs> I know. In Superstar, we're the post-apocalyptic Earth. This Kirby <laughs> take place in the near future. <laughs> Could it be because of Donald Trump? <laughs> Did Kirby wow, 64 just... predict Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How'd you do that? Look at this structure. Does it look familiar? Could it be a thing for communism? Like, Kirby's comment, a... subscribe if you think that <laughs> Masahiro Sakurai is a fucking communist. <laughs> when Kirby uses two clean abilities, he gets a white hood. Kirby's a Nazi. Oh, God, where'd that come from? <laughs> I don't know. It's just so, terrible. uh, I made a boo-boo. Oh, no, did you need light? I need a few things. I need bomb. Okay. From level one of... Stage one. Jeez, you're planet hopping. I need to go back over here and get and... Spark. And... Uh, 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 there we go. Oh, Spark Bomb. All right, so now that we got what we need, let's head back to stage four here. What is that in the background, by the way? Is that a, a spaceship? I think that's just a monolithic type spaceship, whatever. Oh, okay. And... Anyway, with, with a light bulb... Feel three separate pictures. Oh, I get it now. Then it's those pictures we need to hit the time. Oh, is it the same every time or is it randomized? See, I don't know. Because the, the task didn't tell me that I had to use bomb and sparks. So <laughs> I had to rely on the guy, but I didn't listen for that part. Anyway, that's the second shard. Let's move on. Further inside the monolith. What horrors will Kirby find? Uh, Apparently death. Uh, <laughs> Apparently that's, not death. That's horror enough, I'd say. <laughs> the new Kirby survival horror game. Uh, I don't. Oh. I don't think that would work. Uh, oh no! Again. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god! This shit's fucking dangerous, man. Stop giving me a heart attack, please. Uh, all right, come on. Almost there. I got spark again. Nice. Yippee. You are dancing with death here, friend. Oh, there we go. Yes, finally. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> Slap. Bam. Ooh, double right, spark. Let's go with uh, double spark. It turned into a gigantic <laughs> nucleus of... Yeah. Uh. You turned into a bug zapper. I turned into a vent... Uh... What's it? Vander... Bear? That, that, that thing that makes your hair stand up on Yeah, it. It yeah, I know thing. what you're talking about. I forget what it's called. It's like, it's like German type of thing. Mm -hmm. Post-text. Thanks, mate. Brilliant. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! 
Hi, Kirby. Would you like to die? Uh, I'd rather not, thanks. Alright, so, uh, let's go for the character card. Yes! Just because I haven't gotten any in a while. But before we go take on the boss, what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and die. I just want to die. So I can have enough health for the boss, you know? Just, oh, yeah. right, it's yeah. a brilliant tactic. Anyway, I came back here after a bit. I'm just trying to get Spark and Spark again. This is an easy way to do that. These powers carry over when you exit the level. Very important. God, that is such a cool-looking power. Let's use it! Yeah, let me this is crank a, up the music a this bit. Is, this is brand new to the Kirby franchise. This is Pix. What the hell? You can tell that it's the N64 because the big, scary boss of the second stage is just a... <laughs> Polygon? A diamond. Oh, two diamonds. Oh, two Ooh. diamonds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, how do you fight this thing, or is it just a survival round? Right now it's survival, because you can see we're rising to the top. Yeah, we just... This is the monolith stage still, isn't it? Kind of? Yeah. Well, no, it's, it, 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 it's the boss stage, but probably from the monolith is the boss. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, oh three, three polygon. Oh. Three! Three! <laughs> how will Kirby survive three diamonds? I don't know, man. They're working with RGB. Uh, uh quick. Uh, switch to HDMI. Oh, we have our web colors. What are we going to do? Oh, oh, no. And now we got to fight them? Yep. Now we got to fight them. So they have these, like, polygon DNA thingies or whatever. And let's see if this works. Go for it. Oh, Lord. How did you what dodge that? How did they dodge that? <laughs> Oh, oh no! Well, I guess we gotta do the old-fashioned way after all. All right, so you gotta. Oh, do you have to hit them with opposing colors? No, it doesn't matter what color. I don't think. Oh, really? Because that'd be kind of cool if you. Oh no, it's it's not like that. So hit them with any color. Okay. Yep. Any color. Oh, can you imagine how mean that would be in a kids' game? It's like you gotta hit them with opposing colors. Are you saying this is a kids' game? Well, I mean, that was the general intent. Or, or you mean if Sesame Street did something like this? <laughs> oh, God, if Sesame Street went that route, Jesus. I think we need Sesame Street for adults. <laughs> well, I mean, have you seen how many shows that the, the adults get? I think we're good. I think the adult version of Sesame Street is Breaking Bad. I just, I'm just saying I want Elmo to teach me about the quadratic formula, okay? <laughs> It was one of my weakest subjects in algebra, and I never learned it too well, because I hate factoring. Oh, okay, okay. So you're just saying, I want to go back to school. I'm saying I hate math. <laughs> math hates me. <laughs> but Kirby doesn't hate me. Kirby's and nice. This is, this is my favorite scene in the game. Curb? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now what to do in this situation? Have a picnic, of course. Oh, of course. Because you can just paint your own food. <laughs> Was it Jason in the Argonauts where he thought all of his crewmates were pigs? Or maybe well, that was a oh, the, the the Odyssey. Yeah, right? it was the Odyssey. Uh, I'm thinking of the Simpsons episode where they go over the Odyssey, and it's hilarious. <laughs> Homer eats all the pigs. <laughs> Come here. Yet very, yet very accurate. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Kirby 64, it's Aqua Star Water Levels. Oh fucking boy! See you next time. I said, see you next time. <laughs>